So good morning everybody from Rochester, New York. This is Rebaldi coming at you, American Truck Simulator. We're at the Sunset Motel. Yes, it has a pool. It's right there. So I recommend staying there and you can bop across the street for some seafood. You're good to go. We got a pickup. The rain just stopped. It's summer now. So we're going to get some more rain. And go around the corner and make our pickup. It's a surprise, you have to wait. So, Rochester's pretty nice, right? There's a nice truck. Rusty building. Oh, you know who these guys are. What is it? What could it be? Petey got a new paint job and wheels and stuff. Gotta freshen it up now and then, you know? Alabama! Going to uh, cut through the edge of New York and Pennsylvania. Cut the corner off Ohio and West Virginia. And then Virginia, cut across Tennessee, down through Georgia, Hotlanta, and over to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We ain't been there. 11.57 miles, 23 hours. We got to take some time off of that. We got to take some time off of that. We're already almost 8 o'clock. Late start. Late start. Home dynamite for these guys. tight getting out of here. That's one long trailer. And oh, we got it. We got it. like a dang double trailer. Okay, Rochester, we'll see you on the flip side. Gotta go. Gotta get her done. Making dollars. Pimping down the Tuscaloosa, baby. No Cadillac. Me first. I always look back in that mirror and see the what the trailer's doing and they're long like this. They really squeeze you in. You gotta cut them wide. Oh, there's a nice hotel over there. I went over there. I didn't want to stay there. I saw the rooms. It was nasty. It was nasty outside. So definitely go down to the sunset. We got 18 speed and 600 horsepower, 2050 torque. That's as big as you can get with this, with the new cab design. The old cab long nose trucks got a 625, same torque.
I like this 18 speed for hills and heavy cargo. It's kind of a deficit with normal cargo, but it get you there. 1140 miles, 23 hours. So we're just going to get up to speed. I'm going to start out at a pretty good clip. And I'd see that uh, we're pretty bare scenery up here in the northeast. The old coast to coast 2.5. reach over and hit cruise control I usually go <sighs> crooked there's another roads with uh, a whole lane for the runoff shoulder and nothing on the fast lane, left lane side. That's a SCS American Truck Simulator problem. That's not these guys, they're just using their coast to coast guys are just using their roads. Mapping out the whole country. You have a pretty good overall rating with some uh, caveats of problems here and there, but any game is sure to have those. It can be pretty frustrating when you hit an invisible wall. The worst thing about Coast to Coast, <coughs> and there's a lot of good, but the worst thing is the pay and the experience points, XP. If you're just starting out, I'm going to advise you against getting this until you're at least like level 30 and have four or five or even six garages full of drivers working for you. <coughs> and you've opened up your, <coughs> like for example, the <coughs> 1,200 mile cross country trips on just the four states that come with the game. Our $120,000 runs, I made a lot of coin doing those and levels and like 3,300 experience points. Not so in coast to coast. For some re unknown reason, uh, they've been cut at least in half and sometimes down to a quarter of what you would make in the original just the four states game. So I uh, wholeheartedly advise you not to put this in the game, unless you got cheats for XP and uh, money I don't I don't have any cheats this is the only mod I have in right now no trucks I I want to try some other trucks but uh, I've done vids with the only trucks I could get to work in uh, this new version 1.31 the Freightliner Cascadia and the old Kenworth I've tried some trucks but they were it didn't work. They just didn't show up. I don't know. Yes, I read their instructions and went to the showroom or whatever it said. And it's just not there. I don't know what I can do. Add it in the mod manager and uh, go to the dealer. I think for the Volvos, you have to have that uh, Volvo dealer. And uh, I'm thinking about it. I'm not crazy about Volvo. I know everybody is. <gasps> he doesn't like Volvo. Well, I don't. 
I mean, I'm not ex excited about them. I I like to try the Max Century, and the, I did didn't work, and some others. I have to pause it and look how many hours I have to deliver this. It usually have way more than enough time to get there. If you want to day, do one day run, start early and get there before dark. You need a seven, eight hundred mile run and start at like six or seven in the morning. Or maybe a thousand miles and start at six a.m. Get on the road. And it can't be those two lanes up through, you know, Nevada with all the small towns and slowdowns. You won't make it. But if you don't care about getting there, you just drive through the night or stop at a rest area and it'll fast forward to the next day. This is a little longer than I... I look for jobs that I want to go, you know, that are interesting and I ignore the, the XP and the money because, you know, it's not going to it's not gonna. It's only gonna pay and give you what it's gonna, what it's gonna give you, and it doesn't give you much in this uh, coast to coast mod. I, I don't know why. Okay, so we're already into Ohio. So I thought Rochester. I was looking at bouncing around, opening up cities, looking at jobs. And, and, uh, I finished New York with Albany and Rochester. I looked at jobs and I said, well, I ain't been, that's not too far. I haven't been to Alabama. I went through mobile, opened that up. Well, this looks good here. This is, suddenly have a bunch of trees in Ohio and a big uh, dirt median. That's better than flat nothing and just grass. I'll put in some road signs and speed limit signs and mile markers and farm or something here and there. Let's hope, let's cross our fingers we don't hit any invisible walls. Those uh, really take off away from your, uh, like half. It's already limited profit. You're going to be frustrated because you need to, if you put this in too early, because you're going to need to open up those with experience points to open up uh, bigger engines and transmissions for the heavy cargo. You have the heavy download pack, um, and those are the big money on long runs. That's what I did, and uh, you, won't, you won't have the engines and trannies to pull them, or you can try, you're going to have a terrible time. this mod even the geez to get a hundred thousand dollar run I had to drive like 2200 miles that's like a thousand miles further than uh, with just the stock map that comes with the game and uh, those would pay like 120 I ended up getting 94,000 I had 1% trailer damage was a ton of money man and XP it took away from me I don't know who hit my trailer I didn't catch it it's too fast I don't think it tells you trailer damage in the route advisor. But no, I have seen it, but rarely. It must be quick. I don't really care about the truck up to six or seven or eight percent and keep going. Uh, and that's it doesn't cost much. But uh, the trailer boy, even one percent, they're gonna sock it to you on your take away from your money at the end. Well, this is looking good so far. Kudos on uh, Ohio for uh, scenery and detail. It's nice through here. I never seen nothing like this before in the 
regular map. Are those rocks on the are sticking out of the hill? Oh well. That's a little rough finish on the texture there, but oh well, it's not. Look at the twisties coming on the route advisor. You better slow the hell down. I am get squeezed by this guy in a guardrail. Yep, he knew that was a sharp one. Are you going to ride the whole way down with me, there right next to me, squeezing me in every corner of the crowd? Thank you. Okay, so we got a long ways to go, and already we're creeping along at 45. Just enjoy the ride, man. Normally I would, but we're not making nothing. Ratio of reward to effort and uh, accomplishment, their feeling of accomplishment. You drive a, sit here driving your desk for a couple hours. And you don't wreck. And you go across three states. On more than twenty or thirty thousand dollars. I don't know what the next level is at the King of the Road. I see it goes up. I haven't ever read anything about how high it goes or what it is. Or there's, there's no more rewards after like level 30. I mean, you got all the engines and transmissions, all the trucks. You know. There's a lot of room to grow for this game. A lot of room to grow. They're gonna put out Oregon soon, but I don't know uh, why we can't get some more trucks. ETS has more trucks. There's uh, International and Freightliner and Mac and man, there's just a bunch more. You see a few Volvos in America, they're here. Maybe they're just going to work on maps and let the modders make everything else. What was that truck? It worked. It showed up in the game. But the Russians are all over this. And it said Russia transport on the side. No matter what paint you put on it, it still said that. And I don't really want to see that on every truck. Uh, through the paint, not right on the side of it. So I took it out. I don't even remember what it was. It didn't look that good anyways. You get a lot of... They got a lot of crap out there. Gotta be careful. People slap something together, throw it up on the internet for download, you know. And then they got... Some of those sites got a real problem with the uh, add-ons. So I went back to my, I love that Freightliner Cascadia by uh, Cyrus the Virus. The view is much further back than these uh, stock trucks, the Kenworth and the Peterbilt.
and there's a lot of people that made, and I couldn't get it to work, uh, passengers in the passenger seat. They got C-3PO, and they got a girl, and uh, oh, just everything you could think of, but I couldn't get them to work. The, the picture, the module, whatever, wasn't there. Yes, I got the SISL Mega Pack and put that in. Stuff still didn't show up. I could get two Coke cans to show up on the center console, the dashboard cup holders. That's, that's about it. I wanted the dog. It's called Rex. I could see the name there in the little bitmap X for a picture, but it didn't show the picture and it wasn't there. West Virginia, here we go. More back and forth twisties. They gotta be careful that these uh, shortened routes when they... They're always making them twisty like this. I'm just glad to see some trees, I would... And the guardrail, even though it's too close to the left lane. I want to see some signs and some buildings. Well, maybe if you would go the normal speed, you wouldn't have problems on this corner. Uh, some of them, this one coming up looks looks too sharp for a, a freeway. You're going to average, say, 70. Can't be that sharp. Even the Camaro's hitting his brakes. Ah, that wasn't sharp. You got to be careful and look ahead, though. You know. God forbid you damage the trailer, man. Avoid that at all costs. I see what looks like a bad turn coming. I think I'm going to put a truck right next to me, right in the corner. race driving games and every other uh, you know car driving game you want to cut the apex of the corner but on this it's opposite what are you barking about dogs all frisky head or dinner it's, oh it's sunny I should go out there and play with her a little bit comes in to tell me she's seen something. I think she's she is a good guard dog.
Uh oh, way station. Oh, it's at the gas station. It's not the state. What did I go through there? You can't see if you've been down this road on the GPS because you got the red line with the arrows. I don't like this view. Top to bottom, and you don't see much. You see further ahead. Uh, okay, that's better. We're gonna pick up the 81. Go through Virginia. Gotcha. 595 miles. I don't know if this miles tick off accurately. Say this was 1,100 and some miles. I like to know where I'm at, how I'm doing. So I'll do this. Sorry. Oh, start in Rochester. Yeah, we're like halfway. Is time going that fast? I didn't even see Charleston go by, did you? Okay. Okay. So we're going to cut across there. Yeah, you don't get to see Nashville today. It's just uh, Alabama. We'll go by Atlanta. No, we're not halfway. You were thinking this is it. No. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. All right, let's get to it. Time doesn't advance while you're paused there, right? And this has all been pretty good looking. Here's some uh, signs because we're going to change freeways here. Hard to tell where it is on the GPS when you got it zoomed out this much. Good guess. I could suck to go right by it. Yeah, looking good so far. Real good. uphill I was gonna kick it up to 80 I have the GPS on the dash turned off, see? There's not a button assigned to, uh, it's called the dash, dashboard GPS. Or, not the one in the middle, that's mapped to I, that one right there. That's mapped to I, uh, by default. This, uh, GPS is like dashboard menu or something. It doesn't have a key assigned to it, so I assigned a key to it. And then I turn it off and use the route advisor because it shows through the route advisor if it's on behind it and it can mess you up. So turn that off. Assign a key to it and then turn it off. See, I can go through the, and then the last one is off. So that's the first thing I do when I get in. And I set this center dash above the steering wheel menu to fuel because I tend to forget that.
I changed the paint and the bumpers and the wheels. And I didn't change the interior of the steering wheel. I'm fine with it. As is, some of those SCI wheels, I got the wheel back too. Um, yeah, I've been through them. They're all cool. I, a lot of them are just, eh, no, no. There's a few cool ones. The six gun, the two six guns. <laughs> you have to use that at least once. And there's this one that's all skulls. People take skulls. Put that one on. Let's say Tennessee, that was hard to read. Yeah, we're going through the corner of Tennessee, the, the right side. <clears throat> this is nice uh, highway through here. It's all well done. I, I've been through some bare areas, let me tell you. This is fully treed and then nice wide dirt median in the middle. Good, good, good. Well done. We need some more signage. Maybe a building or two. That's right, never good enough. More and more, give me more and more and more. For free, too. And hurry up. <laughs> hey, you ask for it and you get it. Look at that. Buildings. Gas. Scenery. Eh, at least give me that. Some towns are just, you know, a gas station and a truck stop and a, uh, jobs, you know. There's no city buildings like houses or, you know, something that isn't um, um, of purpose to the game to get gas or repairs by a truck. Scenery is important. I've seen people using the ATM. Um, some cities have a lot of, they've put a lot of time into, they have animated people and standing around talking and walking. And like Seattle. I was really impressed with Seattle. North Texas and uh, North Middle America is not, is uh, pretty barren. Not like this. Um, Oregon and uh, Washington are, they look good as far as the roads and the trees and the, uh, and of course Seattle is well done. Eugene is pretty good. Portland is pretty good. Some cities you don't actually get into the city and see skyscrapers, you know what I mean? It's in the distance. And then you just have uh, roads on either side of the highway with a gas station and a truck stop and stuff like that. There's no driving through the city or, you know, with... What the hell? Skyscrapers and stuff right, right beside you. Well, there's your random event got to be one. I was having so many of those. I turned the slider down just a little bit. Come to think of it, I haven't been having that many at all. So, Did that have signs? Usually they have orange signs. Look at that car. It's up in the air. It's going off the exit. Well, there went all our good progress and fun. 400 miles, we're looking at 2 a.m. I don't know, I think I'm going to stop at like 9.30. Let the clock advance to daylight. I hate driving at night, unless I'm close. I don't 
get it done. 9.30 p.m. is like dark. Dark, dark. Can't see with these headlights. They have to put on high beams. This damn bus. He just won't use his cruise control, get up to a decent speed. Now he's gonna come over my lane. Hey, you're supposed to be in this lane, I'm supposed to be in that lane. Jerk. They went fast. Why is the GPS? Looks like I started right back there by that uh, road that goes off the 40. Why is the red line follow going all the way back to my starting point? I've had this one long delivery I did. It was like from Roswell to up in California, and I got there, and it's, it was 1,200 miles, and it said. 201 miles and that's what I got paid. No, I didn't skip ahead or use the dev cam. I drove it. I was expecting a big payday, right? And I got skunked. Just... And I'm scared I'm going to get skunked here with already low pay. Uh, because it's... I don't see the red line goes all the way back to the beginning, from the start to the beginning. I know it's gives you all those miles. I better not get screwed. I'm getting screwed enough with this uh, what this coast to coast map pays for some reason. Put in that Pagani Hyora, or however you say it, and uh, crashed it at like 158 miles an hour, went off the road, did about 30 flips. You have to turn that linearity all the way up or all the way down, or the steering sensitivity all the way up, way up. You got to readjust all that to drive a, a Pagani versus a 18 wheel truck. That's what I was talking about there. If I'm only doing 65, I should get cruise around a freeway, a highway corner smoothly, not my trailer go off in the dirt, does it? What is the reason for this anyways? Turns too tight for freeway speed. racetrack and give us a uh, race trucks. That racetrack in here is like really no fun at all. These maybe with a uh, six by four short, but not a maybe the Euro trucks with a short chassis short nose, no nose. Mm -hmm. 
Eight o'clock's a little early, but I mean, it's within the realm of time. I'll usually take a nap, hit the rest area. By the time I get parked. I just go right by the gas pumps there, dummy. There's no reason to fill up just because they're right there and you're stopping. Stupid. Stupid me. Yeah, maybe I can hit them on the way out. Come on, give me the sleepy time indicator. What do I gotta do here? Come on. You gotta be perfectly in one of these slots. I don't remember what's back there to you. Why wouldn't he give me the E turn off your engine get some rest? Is this spot not working? Okay guys, your spots aren't working. That's another one for uh coast to coast. Rest areas don't work. They're modeled but don't work. Oh, I thought it was turning a lot more. We got these rest areas and you can't rest, man. There's a little template you need to put down there. This guy's going through here at 90. And another one. I'm starting to get swarmed by the game because he, they spawn on you, around you. Okay, rest there it doesn't work. Let's fuel up. Okay, hang in there. I'm gonna go night night and uh, wake up in the morning. Okay, good morning. 7.30 Saturday. I had to do it myself. I love how they can stop on a dime. That's how it's so realistic. Yeah, I'm running off the road looking at the route advisor, looking at the miles and the time. Okay, the 40 is what goes all through the old map, the stock map east to west. Through Arizona and New Mexico. So they extended that, but we're going to get off it onto the 70 again. OK, 
careful, don't want to miss this. Yeah! Yeah! Dude, they stop for everything. Another thing about their uh, <coughs> coast to coast roads, and this is very narrow, first of all, and these off ramps that you could normally take at 60 or 50. You gotta slow down a little bit here at the end, it, it kinks more. Yeah, there's are like 30 miles an hour exit. Right? Loop de doos onto the next free day, freeway off ramps and onto another one. Even if they're up and over, they're, they're, uh, the curve radius is way too much. It's uh, 30 miles an hour from the, for an exit off ramp. No. And the game's always, and he's swerving back and forth trying to block wherever you go. Look at this idiot. That's their AI, man. It just set to mess you up. So you just got off onto this back there, and now you're getting off here. Yeah, that was just like totally sent to uh, mess me up. Swerving around. Slamming on his brakes before he gets off the freeway. Well, maybe they know they can't uh, take those curves at 60 or anywhere near approaching freeway speeds. Um, but the scenery's good. The scenery's good. Looks good. Almost there. Haven't wrecked yet. Although they have attempted to screw with me. The AI. What's this cop gonna do? Ride in the lane. <clears throat> well, I haven't taken anybody out on this trip. Once in a while, I'll take out an AI. Or try not to damage the trailer. If I can hit them from behind with the nose of the truck, you know, and spin them without any damage or maybe 1%. If they're pissing me off for too long, I will. That's kind of funny. I've done that to them, and and traffic behind them I didn't get a picture or anything and traffic and he traffic behind him broadsided him at freeway speed and it went up on his hood and flipped over and you know, all kinds of funny stuff so if you're gonna pit them pit maneuver them well it's not really a pit it's a bump in the back he hit one side or the other way over by the tail light so they spin away from you one way or the other you know and uh try and do it when there's a car <laughs> coming behind them in that lane so you have a nice something nice and funny to watch in your mirror as they get flipped and I've seen them go off the road over that guardrail and into the grass you know it's funny take out a little tension of the AI that giving you trouble Oh, now we got Steve W. Couldn't find a job. Return empty. You get those on a regular basis. It's just random. I seen one. That's the other thing on this coast to coast. I, those cost you a lot more. I seen a guy come back empty. You know, it's usually like three hundred, four hundred dollars. Seen a guy come back empty. It was fifteen ninety seven. I was like, whoa. He doesn't even earn that much in a day usually. He's one of those makes nothing and comes back empty a nine hour drive back empty they do the crap like that too the other thing is is they cut the XP for roaming in half it's 40 XP for 100 miles where it was 80 I don't know if that came with my level but I started noticing it after coast to coast I think those guys went in and cut everything because you make so much money so easy I, I didn't know they could or did mess with that, but I, I don't like it at all. Maybe they could have made it a little less, but this is, because you're going to be doing those long runs now, right? But, you know, a thousand miles for uh, 500 XP, come on, man. It's a little too heavy-handed. They did that on purpose, and I didn't read anything about it. They did that. I thought they just made the mop, uh, map mod. I didn't know they messed with anything else. I thought maybe the game had 
reacted, you know. There's Alabama. The rate per... Come on, AI. You gotta screw with me. Damn Land Rovers. We don't have that many Land Rovers in America either, so... Don't bring all the cars over from ETS. It's un... It's, don't see that many. There's a spaceship in Alabama. A rocket. I don't know what that's about. Look it up. So I have been down this road before. And uh, this is all pretty well done. With scenery and stuff. As you just saw. Uh, the rest stop didn't work. I have to add that to my list of caveats. I don't know if it's just that one or if it everyone on the, the uh, map mod all the states other than maybe they couldn't make that work but even on the regular stock game this is nice they did a good job here there's a mile marker on the bridge we're on the Coast to coast map mod, we're not on the you know, stock game map here. So they did they did this well. Even on the stock map, you can have some problems hitting just the right spot for things. Um, for example a rest area. Uh, but it's not consistent. I've had problems finding the rest area you know get to get the message to kick and then I've gone crooked across them and got it in other places so maybe it was just that one but I was in this fully in the space man maybe I don't know didn't seem to work at that one and uh, I only report what I see so you saw it. Write your, write your senator. I don't know where the, these guys have a website. Look at this, trying to come up on me. Nope, you're gonna get cut off. I don't play that. Slow down, slow traffic in front of me and block me in from the, this fast lane. Nope. I'll hit them with the trailer. I'll, I'll knock them around. Not playing that block in BS. Seems to come in, uh, you know, every once in a while on a regular basis, there's AI decides to mess with you, slow you down, cut you off, come up with some scheme of a rolling roadblock. I have both lanes going slow in front of you road construction way station just before you get there I totally took this car out going for I was not gonna miss that way station I don't get those messages at all in time I mean this was the worst case scenario I was doing like 80 and it was like BAM right there and I just had to do a whoop like this I just whooped over I just turned man and there was a definitely a car there my trailer just spun him out and I made it I can go past it you know maybe I could try it but it's a game messing with me I have a driver there there's usually an AI Alabama Birmingham there's usually a driver here and when you come on and one when you try and get off doesn't have to be every time you guys you know I hate that aggressive uh, game development where it's kind of anti-player anti-fun I can count on it every time doesn't make it interesting it 
They seem to worry too much about the, making the game too easy. I know excuse would be to extend gameplay. Yeah, I say it is what it is. Did you look at uh, Birmingham back there? I can't look back on a curve. Seems to uh, look pretty good. So this, in my experience, the south um, across the bottom of the map is 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 pretty well done. And the north and the northwest um, is not is very sporadically done. Seattle being well done, and the northeast uh, is it's there. I mean, you saw Rochester. New York uh, does not impress me. New York City. I went to New York City, and it's that buildings in the background. You know, it's not drive through the city with skyscrapers and wide go through Manhattan or anything. It's, it looks like they use San Diego and it's a uh, street. Like San Diego is a big disappointment for a, a big city. That isn't done worth a darn. But I'm talking about the map mod, coast to coast. Washington is bupkis and New York City is, is bupkis. And then Gulfport, Mississippi is great. Seattle is great. Um, Orlando and all of Florida is, is well done. I went to Key West. That was pretty cool. Could use some more detail, some people. Tuscaloosa, we made it. Here in Alabama, man. Yes, I did. And it looks pretty good. What's up, Peterbilt brother? We're on that red, man. Ain't nobody around. It's Alabama. Historic 66. Oh, really? Well, thanks for riding along with us today. We're sorry we left our, left you in Alabama, but uh, you can get the next train out of here. Hey, they got some good gumbo down here, you know. Some good seafood, nice people, laid back atmosphere. You can relax in Alabama, man. They got beaches too. I don't know about Tuscaloosa. Now what stupid thing is the GPS doing? You're gonna run me around. Why can't I go straight? Okay, you don't wanna display it. Is that the only way in? I can't get zoom in anymore. Why do I need to jog over? Why don't I go this way? Can't you turn from there to there? Okay, we'll go with yours. That better not, that might be what took my miles away because I set a waypoint. Uh, messing with the GPS. I'll go your way. I see we got a truck stop. You get one or two percent damage on your wheels and chassis just from driving. You don't have to hit anything, so they always got to hit the truck stop. Or you could let it you wait till it's up to, you know, more. 
but that's what I do I, I'll drive around here and open it up look around see what it's got what kind of jobs it's got fill up top off get repaired Maybe I'll paint my truck or I'll switch to a Kenworth and fix one of those up for next job, see what we want to do next. That was pretty good the whole way. It was uh, good scenery and all the roads worked and stuff. Except that rest area, but uh, at least you had a rest area. You know what, you could back this in, it's just a regular trailer. I get to here and I just want to pull it forward and get it done. I'm ready for a break. Go have a snack or... Go play with the dog. You gotta wear them out every day. They got that dog energy. So there you are, Tuscaloosa. I hate to sell this truck. I like it. 1,100 miles would normally pay like 3,000 XP, like twice the XP and twice that pay. That's pitiful for 1,100 miles, man, in 28 hours. That's pitiful. Don't put this mod in unless you already, you know, you don't care about not leveling and making money. Serious. I don't know why it's like that. If that was intentional or just a circumstance of you know, they messed with the game. And that's how it's interpreting these drives. Why? Well, I, you know, I don't want to get rid of this. It looks too good. Alright, I'm gonna go get some shrimp gumbo. Look for a hotel with a pool. I'll catch you on the flip side. It's Adios from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. See ya.